the Tibetan Empire was a significant political and cultural entity that emerged in Central Asia during the 7th century. One of the most notable and transformative periods in the history of the Tibetan Empire was the reign of King Trisong Detsen, who ruled from 755 to 797 CE. Trisong Detsen's reign marked a pivotal era in Tibetan history, primarily due to his efforts to establish Buddhism as the state religion and his collaboration with key figures like Guru Padmasambhava and Shantarakshita to introduce Buddhism in Tibet. Trisong Detsen ascended to the throne at a relatively young age after the death of his father, King Yagsum, in 755 CE. Under his rule, the Tibetan Empire reached its zenith, expanding its territories and influence in the region. Trisong Detsen was a visionary and ambitious ruler who sought to unify Tibet under a strong central authority and create a distinct Tibetan identity. One of Trisong Detsen's most significant accomplishments was the invitation and establishment of Buddhism in Tibet. Prior to his reign, Tibet practiced the indigenous Bon religion, which was a blend of animism, shamanism, and early religious practices. However, influenced by his mother, Queen Tremon Lamo, who was a devout Buddhist, Trisong Detsen began to show an interest in Buddhism. Trisong Detsen's desire to learn more about Buddhism led to his invitation of the renowned Indian Buddhist master, Shantarakshita, to Tibet in 767 CE. Shantarakshita, along with his disciple Kamala Shila, played a crucial role in laying the foundation of Buddhist monasticism and education in Tibet. They established the first Buddhist monastery, Sami, in the region. However, during the initial attempts to build Sami, Tibetan sorcerers and practitioners of the Bon religion obstructed the construction through their supernatural powers, leading to a stalemate. Recognizing the need for additional spiritual support, Trisong Detsen sought the assistance of Guru Padmasambhava, also known as Guru Rinpoche, an accomplished tantric master from India. Guru Padmasambhava arrived in Tibet in 747 CE and successfully subdued the malevolent forces opposing the construction of Sami. With his expertise in tantric practices, he became instrumental in the dissemination of esoteric Buddhist teachings in Tibet. Guru Padmasambhava played a critical role in subjugating local deities and spirits, incorporating some of their elements into the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. His teachings and practices, known as Nyingma, laid the foundation for the development of Tibetan Buddhism. During Trisong Detsen's reign, Tibetan scholars and translators were also dispatched to India to bring back Buddhist texts and scriptures. This period of translation and cultural exchange significantly enriched the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, as the texts were translated into Tibetan and integrated into the religious and philosophical landscape. Trisong Detsen's legacy as a Buddhist patron and his contributions to the spread of Buddhism in Tibet were profound. His reign marked the beginning of a cultural and religious transformation in Tibet, establishing Buddhism as a central pillar of Tibetan identity and shaping the course of Tibetan history for centuries to come. After his passing in 797 CE, the Tibetan Empire faced challenges, and there were periods of internal strife and fragmentation. Nonetheless, the legacy of Trisong Detsen and his pivotal role in bringing Buddhism to Tibet endures as a significant chapter in the history of the Tibetan people. Following Trisong Detsen's death, the Tibetan Empire faced internal power struggles and external invasions, leading to a period of instability. Despite these challenges, the influence of Buddhism continued to grow, and subsequent rulers, particularly his grandson Ralpakan, further strengthened the Buddhist tradition in Tibet. Ralpakan, the son of Trisong Detsen's daughter, Princess Sakya Devi, and King Sadnaligs, ascended the throne after his father's assassination in 815 CE. Ralpakan was an ardent supporter of Buddhism, and he continued his grandfather's efforts to promote and expand the religion. During his reign, he sponsored the construction of numerous monasteries and temples, including the iconic Rolong Monastery, which became a significant center of Tibetan Buddhism. The period after Ralpakan's reign witnessed several shifts in power and external threats, such as conflicts with the Tang Dynasty of China and the Uyghur Khaganate. These conflicts, combined with internal divisions among influential clans and noble families, eventually contributed to the decline of the Tibetan Empire. By the mid-9th century, the Tibetan Empire had weakened significantly, and central authority had eroded. 
In 842 CE, a landmark event called the Treaty of Langshou marked the official dissolution of the Tibetan Empire into several independent kingdoms and regions ruled by different warlords and chieftains. However, despite the political fragmentation, Buddhism continued to flourish in Tibet. The seeds sown during the reign of Trisong Detson and further nurtured by subsequent rulers had taken root and permeated Tibetan society. The transmission of Buddhist teachings and the establishment of monastic traditions played a vital role in the preservation and continuity of Tibetan Buddhism. One significant outcome of this fragmentation was the rise of regional religious schools and sects within Tibetan Buddhism. These diverse traditions developed unique practices and philosophical outlooks while remaining rooted in the teachings introduced during the time of Trisong Detsen. Tibetan Buddhism continued to evolve and thrive over the centuries, producing eminent scholars, sages, and masters. The later spread of Buddhism beyond Tibet's borders, especially to neighboring regions like Bhutan, Sikkim, Ladakh, and Mongolia, was also influenced by the cultural and religious foundations established during the reign of Trisong Detson. Today, the legacy of Trisong Detson and the cultural heritage he fostered endure in the hearts and minds of the Tibetan people. His contributions to Buddhism and the establishment of the Tibetan script continue to shape Tibetan identity and serve as a source of inspiration for successive generations. In conclusion, the reign of Trisong Detson was a watershed moment in Tibetan history marked by the introduction of Buddhism as the state religion and the initiation of a cultural and religious transformation that continues to resonate to this day. His patronage of Buddhism, collaboration with key figures like Guru Padmasambhava and Shantarakshita, and promotion of religious learning and translation set the stage for the flourishing of Tibetan Buddhism and its dissemination throughout the Himalayan region and beyond. Trisong Detson's visionary leadership laid the foundation for a unique and enduring spiritual legacy that remains an integral part of Tibetan cultural heritage.